Welcome to Five Good Minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the fruit of the Spirit with Dan Irvin. Welcome back to the Five Good Minutes podcast as we conclude the week looking at the word faithfulness. And today I want to turn to the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 11 through 13. And here we see an important truth about God's faithfulness. Paul writes, here is a trustworthy saying, if we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful for he cannot disown himself. You know, this passage contains a promise and a challenge. It reminds us of the profound, remarkable, extraordinary faithfulness of God, even when we are faithless. But it also calls us to consider our response to that faithfulness. How how do we, if you consider yourself a follower of Jesus, live in light of God's unwavering commitment to us? Paul begins here by reminding Timothy that faithfulness to Christ brings life, endurance, and ultimately the the promise of reigning with him. This is the echo of the gospel that those who trust in Jesus, who die to themselves and are raised with him, share in his victory. But then Paul offers a, a, a sobering warning. If we disown Christ, he will disown us. It's a, it's a stark reminder that the rejection of God's offer of grace has very real and, and serious consequences. But then comes the most remarkable statement in verse 13. If we are faithless, even if we reject God, he remains faithful for he cannot disown himself. This is huge about the nature of God. God's faithfulness is not based on our actions, our response. His character is unchanging. He is faithful because of who he is. Even when we fail, God doesn't. He can't be anything other than faithful. That's just who God is. But I think it raises an important question. If if God remains faithful, even when we are faithless, what should our response be? Does his faithfulness mean that our faithfulness doesn't matter at all? Well, not at all. In, In fact, God's faithfulness calls us to a deeper, more committed response you can think about it like this. When you love someone unconditionally, when they are unwavering uh, in, when, or when someone loves you unconditionally, when they are unwavering in their loyalty to you, how do you, how do you respond? I don't think you would take that kind of love for granted. You don't become indifferent to it. Instead, you genuine love, it compels you to respond in a similar way. And, and so It is with God. His faithfulness displayed most powerfully in life, in the life, death, and resurrection of of Jesus. It it demands a response. So what what is our response? What is your response to God's faithfulness? First, I think it has to look like trust. If we, if God is always faithful, we can trust him. Even when life feels uncertain, when it's fragile, people let us down, circumstances shift, God is constant. His promises never fail. So we trust him in all things, especially when we might feel like giving up. And and second, our response to God's faithfulness is perseverance. Paul says, if we endure, we will also reign with him. This endurance is, it's the hallmark. It's the key to a faithful life. And don't confuse enduring with never struggling or never having hard times But I think it means if we keep going, knowing God's faithfulness will sustain us. Our our ability to endure comes from knowing that, that God is always with us, working things out for our good. And finally, I think responding to God's faithfulness means living in a way that reflects his character. If God can't disown himself, if faithfulness is central to his very being, then as his followers, we are called to reflect that same faithfulness in our lives, in our relationships, our work, our integrity, our service, whatever it may be, 
we can mirror the faithfulness that we have first received from God. And remember, by the spirit of God that lives in us. That is the gift of God, that he gives us his spirit to help us live out his call to the world. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.